Hi guys, I'm DailyFix and welcome back to the third part of my tutorial campaign. In this part, we're going to be talking about local auto trade and repeat orders. But to do that, I, I kind of need another ship. And that brings me to Hatikva's choice. When you start the game and you get through the system or whatever, in the mission offers, there's always a join Hatikva trade revolution. I'm not going to show you what will happen in this storyline. I'm just going to show you the first mission's reward. Let us select the Atikva Trade Revolution mission. We'll get a mission to talk to a Reen Omar. And I will do the mission. And I will meet you back when I've completed it. And get the mission's reward. So I just finished the mission. And this is the mission reward. It is a small, I think it's like Calypso ship. It, it's not... Too interesting, but uh, you'll see in, in, in a few, probably not too long from now, uh, what you can do with the ship. At least what I usually do with this ship. We're on our way to Black Hole Sun because I want to show you local auto trading. I'm not a huge fan of it. I will definitely say that it has massive limitations to what you can do with repeat orders which will come uh, later so for now let us get back in, in the hut we got ourselves a pilot to the ship we are currently traveling to black hole sun now why black hole sun because i had some satellites in here and there is for us a very short well a, 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 there is a very small opportunity in this system took the liberty to get silicon wafers and you can see that they're being sold at 194 and they're being bought in the same system for 227 however the amount is a joke it's nothing much but basically what we will do is we're going to be telling this guy to local order trade we're going to be assigning a where and in this case it's going to be silicon wafers we're going to be anchoring it Entering in place in black, black hole, hole sun 4 and we'll hit confirm and that is basically how you set up local order trade the amount of wares you'll select are limited unfortunately to one and here you go. He will get the silicon wafers. And he will sell them over uh, here. For 219. The money that he will use to do that trade will always come from your wallet. Uh, you can already see that in your transaction log. That we transferred 13,155 uh, 13, uh, credits to our Calisso Sentinel. I will let it, this guy just do this trade. Then uh, we're going to be stripping the ship down. Getting ourselves something better. And for that we are actually going to do a tiny bit of exploration. Because we need to find a another system. To scout potential trades. And that is right clicking and hitting local uh, encyclopedia entry. And you can see that ore is actually getting high. That is not useful at all. Energy, never trade into that. But there's uh, other options here as well. Sometimes they will just be amazing. However, what I dislike about this window is it will only show you the top four highing, highest buyers and the top four highest sellers. And that's way too limited for my liking. Therefore, I never use this particular window. I think it's too limited. Yes, you can debate me on that. It's fine. I just wanted to mention that there is this option. Also, thank you 
for uh, for the one who brought it to my attention in the previous video. I completely forgot about that. But that's basically because I just choose not to use it. So yeah, here you go. Encyclopedia entry on the systems. So this ship just picked up the monstrous amount of 68 silicon wafers. And we're heading to our, well, area of, of, of sales, which is uh, great. We're going to be making 15,471 credits to do this trade. Yes, the AI will schedule in trade and that is different from when you do it. Basically, when you do it, you'll find a trade, fly there, pick the stuff up and find yourself the highest paying seller or buyer. One of the other. I'm dyslectic, guys. Give me a break. When you hit the local transaction, I want to go over this. So we already know that we transferred 13,155 to this particular ship. However, he didn't use all of the money and therefore there is this little topic. It says profit from trade order. It's not really a profit. It is what is left over from this amount. We bought those 60, uh, 68 silicon wafers at 181 credits, 181.5 credits, sorry. For 12,342 credits, leaving us 813 credits. We got this back. This is his transaction log. So, if we go over to here, this is the same. But for now, this is profit from trade order. We got 813 uh, credits back. In a second, and we're currently, I think, docking. Yeah, we're about to dock, and we'll see that transaction pop in here. And it, this is potentially, for this tutorial, the last thing this ship will do for me. Because I, like I said, I don't like the ship. Uh, we're going to be waiting. And... Can we just... Uh, Get that one, there we go. So, we got 15,471 credits, and you can see that, well, he did make, let's just say, 3,000 credits in 3 minutes. So, that's 30,000 in a half an hour, and 60,000 into an hour, I think. <laughs> For now, he's just going to go upwards. He's going to be looking for a new trade. And that is basically how local auto trade will work. It is only in one sector. And therefore, I will never use it. Entering Trinity Sanctum. Welcome Seven. to Trinity Sanctum. So when you head into Trinity Sanctum 3, there is Trinity Sanctum 7. Yeah, 7. In here you will find the uh, station belonging to the Alliance of the Word. Hopefully we'll find it soon, but I got a feeling it might be the one over there. So let's head over there. Uh, also, no, there you go. Let's go over there. We also stripped the Calypso oh, down and sold its shell uh, to the Pyranid. And we got about, yeah, let's say 560,000, which is enough to buy ourselves a good looking ship. Right now, we're going to be docking up with these guys because they have a whole variety of ships. And usually, they come at a very low price. But we're going to be checking that out so we know that for sure. So while here, let's close everything down. If we right click, we can buy a ship, go to medium. And you can see that there is, yeah, there's some basic fighters. And that's also uh, interesting. Uh, I'll kind of like this one as a defender. This is the, uh, the note and sentinel, no down sentinel. Uh, but we, we are here for the transport ships. There are, I think, the ships belonging to three different factions. 
I usually go with the Vulture. I believe it is the one with the highest cargo. Uh, but of course, uh, the highest cargo doesn't mean it is uh, the one that you should be selecting. Uh, cargo equals a decreasing speed. Let me quickly go over some of these to see. You know, this is not bad either. 200 speed is very nice. I'm going to be assuming this is the fastest one. Because it's the lowest hull size. Maybe we should just go for a ship like this. Uh, speed is going to be very important when he is going to be targeted by pirates. He wants to get out of that situation, get into travel, so he is not going to be costing us any more money. Of course, we're not going to be buying, uh, buying this for 1.7 million. Let's go to a low preset. And that is 287,000 on a low preset uh, map. We'll quickly go over them. Uh, buy ship, medium, uh, transport, low preset, 680, oh, 642. That's logical. I don't see that right now. Buy, medium. Hermes, low preset, 400 and, uh, well, just say 500. You get the drift, right? These guys sell ships at a extremely low amount of money. I think it's actually this one that we're actually just selecting right now. No, maybe not. But still, it is definitely worth your time to visit Trinity Sanctum 7 and get the Alliance of the Word Pyramid Wharf. Because that will leave you a lot of money that we, yeah, you can use on a new mining ship. And that is also going to be important. So for now, let me quickly queue up that ship. Let's go with the Herm Vanguard. I'll just select a low preset uh, and just go with whatever they throw at me, which is uh, fine. The base speed is quite nice. I like it. Cargo, not that massive, but it's fine. You ju just get it. Uh, we'll definitely make a profit with this ship. It will be done in like a minute. Now, we were also very fortunate because we got ourselves a pilot that has uh, two stars in morale and one in piloting. Now, we know that we need a level 1 pilot because that's how we found the other stations in the previous episode. So hold position, repeat orders and confirm. Now why do I like this? Repeat orders will let you do trade but you'll have to set up parameters but it can go as far as you like. So let's click on trade. Let's get rid of energy cells. I will never trade in energy cells. They're just uh, uh, just horrible. What do we see when we, lo we are looking at this? Well, I should not have to state this out. But apparently there are refined metals being sold at 83 credits. And they're being bought by a factory over here for 212. Now I... Am not going to be trading in this system because of the Buccaneers. They are basically your skill play pack. They will tell your ships to drop your cargo. So that is not going to happen. But still, 274, 260. Uh, actually, we're, we're looking for the refined metals. 194. Where else? Two, oh, uh, 210. Yeah, that is definitely going to be a profit. So we now know we could buy these at 83, but we want a bit of a margin. And we're going to be buying them up to, let's just say buy them up to 100. And we will start selling them above the 200, just so we don't have to babysit the ship. Let us take a look. We know this, uh, this, this. Uh, system sells them so we're going to be right clicking the map and we're going to be buying in this particular system we're going to be selecting refined metals 
and we're going to be telling him, I want you to buy up to a maximum price of a hundred. Let's confirm. Now, in order to sell, to, to set up a sell order, we're going to be finding a place where, yeah, it, it, this is a sector they will buy refined metals. It's not near as much as we wanted it to be, but it just is going to be, we can in this system set up a sell order. And that is going to be extremely handy. So right now, let's drop down, let's go to refine metals. And uh, we're going to be setting that up with a price of 200, which is insanely high. Definitely will have to change that in the future. Now we're going to be doing this. We're going to be turning off trade, hitting the information, and we're just going to go here. We're pressing sell and then add location. By adding location, you can basically just go around, right-clicking a map, and say, okay, I want you to sell that over there. A tick for choice. Oh, apparently they need that as well. I'll sell you over there. Uh, silent witness, of course, needs that. Um, profit, a hey, profit center alpha does not allow me to right-click. Apparently they don't need refined metals. Well, damn. Trinity Sanctum needs them. Unholy Retribution, and Bias Mist as well. Okay, cool. And that would be full circle, because these guys, they don't like me. And my ships cannot dock. In order to keep this going, you also want to do the same thing with the buy order. Just so this ship can always uh, continue its route. But of course, there is a but. And the but is... You do need to play satellites. Wow, they, they, they don't sell this anywhere? Only in second... Wow, I'm absolutely surprised by this. <laughs> to be fair. Uh, did not expect that. There's two places that sells refined metals. Uh, and that is fine. So, I was saying... You do need to place satellites at the locations, but at least, once again, you know where those stations are. So, use your other ship. Also, to get out of this menu, just do this. Right-click once uh, on this button. He now has his orders. He will dock up. And he should, in information, already have taken 42,000 credits from you. And once he does his uh, sale, that will do, of course, the change. The same thing with the, uh, the Calypso on the local auto trade. Uh, it will tell you everything you need to know. He's already there. That's great. Let me quickly start placing down satellites. And I will show you the profit. But this is a very, very basic video on how to set up local auto trade. And how I think you shouldn't. And just use, re use repeat orders. Sake of profit. Be a Taladi in this game. And you will be rich very, very soon. Now, there is another thing that I just thought of. In player information, there is global orders. Now, in these global orders... Due to the new beta, there is several options. There is an option here, Global Order Response to Pirate Harassment. We are not going to do that. Uh, we're going to be escaping. But our military ships, let's just say attack. So, your civilian ships now escape. Your pirate ships, of your military ships, will attack. And you can set that up for basically anything. Because if he's being attacked by a Xenon that isn't a pirate. Do not use your judgment. Escape. Military ships. I want you to use your judgment. Can you win it? Go for it. Can you not? Get the heck out of there. So play around with your global settings. And we'll get into more of these at a later video. But now, I'm going to be dropping some satellites, waiting for this Hermes to start making me money. 
Well, guys, I think this is as good a time for me to, well, show you how much we're going to be making. 107,000. I'm still waiting for him to dock, and then it's uh, usually like five seconds uh, until we know how much he actually made. Uh, I'll wait until we go into the uh, transaction log because I also just bought ourselves a second mining ship. He's going to be doing some ore mining in Grand Exchange 3. I've shown you the incline there in the uh, in the line for the ore. So yeah, there was a no-brainer putting him there. Come on. 107.04. Okay, transaction log. Here we go. So, by the end of the day, this guy has bought... Uh, let's take a look. 507 refined metals for the price of 30, uh, 39,120 credits. And he then sold those for 107,042 credits. This is uh, not bad a profit. That is two and a half times as much, I believe. Out at the top of my head. And he is going back to the Argon refined good complex. But this time he's going to a another one it seems. And he's going to be buying them for 83. He bought them here and for 77 which is perfect. So you can see that if these guys make about 60,000 every 5 minutes. Then... Times the 600,000, 720,000 credits in an hour. Hence, repeat orders are better than local auto trade. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. I'll have to see how clear I am in editing. Uh, but yeah, see you next time, guys, where I'm going to be... Probably going into um, the guild mission office and how you could potentially level up uh, a pilot doing those missions by getting higher skill books. They're all fun. You have several of them. I think that would be a good topic for next time. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.